What's up everybody, Chaos here, and I got a great one for you today. You know, I never really understood why YouTubers said they're gonna give you a great one. Because why would they give you a bad one? I mean, think about it, that's just like a, like a, well yeah, it's just like, um, Man, here I go rambling again. Let's just get into the video. Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League and learn high-level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. So my last couple of videos have really focused on the defensive side of the ball. I really wanted to focus on helping you guys stop your opponent more and really lock up their passing game while also still being able to contain the run. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you guys check out the cards. I'll put that in there for you guys so you guys can check that out. Today we're going to be focused on the offensive side of the ball. So as you guys know, my offense is out of the West Coast playbook. I just dropped my ebook over at HotRoute.Tips. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure I check the description for that below. It's the West Coast playbook, and that's the playbook we're going to be in today. I'm going to be giving you guys a free scheme to go along with what I already have in there. So my ebook on the site really focuses on Gun Bunch a lot. It has a couple other things in there, but it's mostly Gun Bunch. Well, today I'm going to be giving you guys a really, really good running form that you guys can pass out of and kill your opponent with the run. So it can really do both, and it's a great supplemental form to that gun bunch. Now, if you don't want to buy the ebook on Hot Rod Top Tips, that's fine too. It's not going to matter. This form is in about eight other books outside of West Coast. It's in eight of the team books, so I'll put those in the description for you guys. But this is a great formation. It has really good run plays, and it also has some pretty deadly pass plays. So today we're going to be focused on the pass, and if we get 600 likes in this video, guys, 600 likes, I know you guys can do it, you guys have been knocking it out every single video, so 600 likes, I'll drop you guys the running portion of this, and then of course we'll do a gameplay with me running this scheme and showing you guys how to use it in live game action. Now, this could be another longer video, just like the defensive portion, so I will be doing timestamps for you guys, kind of just breaking down each of the different portions of the video where I think you guys might want to skip to. If you guys know one section already, you can go to the next one and so forth. So it's going to be two passing plays, and I'll jump into that now. Before we jump into the actual formation, I want to go over the personnel that you guys are going to want to have in certain spots in order to be more successful out of iForm slot. So basically, you're going to want your best receiver right here. Marquise Goodwin, he's 98 speed. He's very, very good. He's going to help you be very successful against man from this route, right? Because this is this is where your feature route's going to be. You're going to have your best route on the field from Marquise Goodwin. So if you have 98 speed here, they're going to really struggle to check him in man. And then the route itself is going to beat zone. So Marquise Goodwin's who I would use for the Niners. Obviously Tyreek Hill is a really good one. But you don't need 98 speed, 99 speed. Um, a great one could possibly be um, just any like great receiver like DeAndre Hopkins. Um, Antonio Brown, uh, Julio Jones, they don't have to be 97, 98, 99 speed. Just your, put your best receiver, put them in this spot, it'll help you be more successful. Now, obviously you only have two wide receivers set, so just put your second best receiver here, Dante Pettis, and then obviously just have your running back and your fullback back here. Now, I would personally use Tevin Coleman if I was the Niners, but that's up to you guys who you guys want to use. They have a lot of great running backs. Bright is not bad, McKinnon's not bad. And then if you wanted to replace your fullback, you could. Juice is actually really good, so I would actually probably use him if I was on the Niners. But if the team that you're using has a bad fullback, maybe put a second running back in there because you actually do pass to him sometimes. And I'll show you guys that in the video today. All right, so the first play we're going to be going over is PA cross F wheel. Now, most iForm slots are going to have this, but if your iForm slot does not have this, pretty much all of them have the play with the crosser. You see the red route here on PA cross F wheel. That is the route that's going to be featured on this play. You're going to be changing every other route. So it doesn't matter if you have this exact same play. If you're in a, if your playbook has iForm slot and it has a different play, look for this crosser and you guys will be able to do the same exact thing I'm going to show you guys today. Now, call that play. We're just going to go through every different coverage, right? So I'm not going to show you the normal setup yet. So really all I'm going to do is just block everybody and you're just going to look at this crosser. The rest of the play does not matter. You're going to see... You're going to have a lot of success with this crosser. It's going to beat every other coverage. So they're in Tampa 2. And you're just watching this crosser from B. And it's going to get wide open, right? <clears throat> now, I'm going to go to a cover 3. And it's still going to get open. So you saw I got over the cloud flats from cover 2, right? So we audible here. Now we're in cover 3. And we're going to press even, too. So we have a deep third pressed on the right side with probably the best zone corner in the game in Stefan Gilmore, right? So he's going to react well. And you're still going to be able to fit this in. Now, I like to low pass it. Up to you guys whether you guys do that or not. But I like to low pass. I've talked about low pass a lot this year. I think it helps you fit balls into a little bit tighter spaces. So you guys see they're, again, wide open. Now we're going to go to cover three with a baseline press, right? So now he's pressed. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. A lot of recording lately. But you guys see he's pressed outside now. So he's going to be uh, in a little bit better position, right? Still going to get open here. Low pass that thing in. You fit it in the pocket. 
This thing is really, really good. Now I'm gonna show you guys with deep quarter now, right? So I'm audible in a cover three, <clears throat> pressed outside, and you put a deep quarter out there, right? So now that's gonna be a little bit less zone for him to have responsibility for, and you would think maybe he would do a little bit better job. Show you this crossing one more time. Bam, a little bit better, a little bit closer, still catches it, right? Now maybe you say with right there with the click on, maybe he makes the play. I'll show you guys again. He usually doesn't even come that close to it. And you can still fit this ball in very, very well. Again, this is not the setup that you're gonna be using. I'm just showing you guys how great of a route this is so you guys can see it. Now, that's better animation, a lot less close than the, than the previous one. This route's gonna get open no matter what. So the keys to this now is you always want the two wide receivers on the short side. So if you wanna, you wanna be on the left hash if your tight ends to the right, you wanna be on the right hash if your tight ends to the left. Either way you wanna do it, just keep the wide receivers on the wide side. Now, let's jump into the setup that you're actually gonna be using when you run this pass play. Okay, so here's the actual game ready setup that you guys are gonna to wanna to use for the games in order to be more successful out of this formation, right? So you're gonna to wanna to reblock your running back. I don't like PA this year. Whenever you go to, go to PA, you're usually gonna get sacked for some reason. It creates quicker block sheds as well as uh, easier to scream at. So reblock your running back. Then you're gonna to wanna to, to put your fullback on an option route. So option routes are great. If you man up your fullback, that for some, like if they man up the fullback for some reason, he'll break out on an out route and usually beat man. If they don't man him up, the option route's gonna sit in a great spot like a curl would against zone, right? So that's why I use the option route. Then you're gonna drag the outside guy in Pettis, just kind of creating a high low with the uh, with the crossing route and then late kind of like a, not a flood concept, but whatever they have over there with like cloud, purple, whatever the case may be, kind of creates um, a tough spot for them to play. The cloud doesn't know to drop back on the crosser, come forward on the drag. Then you have the check and release from the tight end. I like to leave them on that. If they man up the tight end out of a cover zero or something, the man manned up to him won't blitz you, so it gives you a little bit more extra time, an extra blocker. And then if for some reason you do get hollered at, or if they block shit or something, you can just press A again, and he'll release, and you have a nice little check down, right? So right here, obviously, I'm gonna hit the crosser. If, uh, and I, I felt like I got block shit right there. I wanna keep that for you. I felt like I got block shit. That's why you keep the check and release, and I'll show you guys that now in the replay. Obviously though, if I have time, I'm gonna hit the crosser no matter what. It, there's no user out there right now, so they can't guard it. So obviously that's the first thing that you're gonna wanna hit. Now, I saw this tight end get block shed right there, right? Now, I didn't see the running back going over to take him, so I got like a little bit happy feet, right? So send your guy out, that's why you have the check and release. Take your check down, and I went and got three, four, five yards out of that play, whereas I could have gotten a sack and lost six yards. So quickly set this play back up. Same exact thing, just drag here, option, re-block, and you're good to go. And I'm gonna throw this crosser just because they don't have a user on this play, and that's the that's the right read, right? If they don't guard that, you're going to you're gonna throw it. Okay, so now I'm gonna man up the crosser with this linebacker. Just showing you guys this is the user, and I'm taking it away. Now it's probably gonna beat the man, it's 98 speed, Marquis good one. Um, if they have man pressed from like a really good corner versus like a slower receiver, sometimes they can box it. So I'll show you guys against Gilmore against Goodwin from like cover two man. Uh, Goodwin will probably still win because he's 98 speed, but for the most part, like you can box it if you man press it, which is why we have these other man beating routes on the play. But just for now, this is going to be signifying the user. So the user's taking it away. So I'm not going to throw the crosser here. You're just going to see whatever this vert hook takes. So if it takes the drag, you can throw your option route. If it takes your option route, you can throw your drag. Plain and simple. You just gotta make the read, right? And you got, I already showed you guys the, the delay route, how it can be a read for you as well. So I'm gonna run this here, and you guys see the drag gets open because the option route holds down the vert hook, and you make the read there. So now let's just let's just uh, change it around here. Let's go to like a cover three, and you're gonna see that you're gonna have your option route, right? So this is the user. We're taking away the crosser again, right? Just signifying that because obviously if they don't take away the crosser that's what you're throwing that's obviously the first read on every play that's what you're going to be doing and you're going to be able to make plays from it so now you can take your option route or your drag whichever one you want get down get your 10 yards now obviously you're not going to have like three op routes on one play right this is a running formation and you're going to see in the next video how great the runs can really be out of this but when you can combine it with this pass that's when it becomes extremely deadly right so now we're just gonna man up the uh, the drag out of cover two just showing you guys different things they could do so they, they man up the drag and now they're using the the crossing route right the one of the man's on the crossing route is the user and then the other man to man is just an adjustment maybe that they make right so both of those are taken away 
you can take your option route and get up the field. So really, you're, which all you're doing is you're going to be running the ball a lot of this formation, but when you go to pass, they have to be able to like take away your three like really nice spaced out routes. So once this drag gets past the option route, that's when you have really great spacing uh, around the field. So right here, bam, this is your spacing. So you have the option route that if they're using low, if they're using low, they have to pick do I go drag or option, right? So if they're using low, they have to kind of sit in between this. And then obviously you can throw this crosser basically any point after this. I can low ball it here. I can low ball it all the way across towards the sideline. Now obviously I passed the ball so he got off his route. But you can basically low ball it at any point after this little break. And you have tons of space in the field to throw that. So if you get like shedded or something early, you can do that. Now against uh, against cover two and cover three, it's going to be really the same setups as I already showed you guys. But it's just slightly different reads. If they're in a cover three, you're more likely to have uh, your option route. If they're in a cover two, you're more likely to have your drag. It's just what the vert hook happens to play. But I want to show you guys here quickly that if you man up the option route, you can still throw it a lot of the time. So I'm not going to put the drag on the field. I'm just going to like get him out the way. And just show you guys on this little break, you can... Now, I don't know what happened to my man. I thought I manned it up. My mistake. We'll do it again. But you guys see the option route gets into a really nice spot. I'm pretty sure he was manned up and it just glitched because... He cut out. This is what he does when he's when he's manned up. You see him, he cuts out right here. That's what he does when he's manned up. Now, I don't know why the guy that was manned up to him didn't run to him. Who knows? Maybe it's a glitch, but uh, that's what he does. He cuts out on the out route instead of sitting on his curl, and he gets wide open. I'll try to man him up one more time for you guys. If it doesn't work, then shoot, we found a glitch. But uh, that's what they're going to want to do. So I'm just going to get this guy out the way, put him on his option route, bam. And you're going to see he's going to break out here. And I guess we found a glitch because he just won't go to him. Who knows? But in game, let's just imagine the guy gets manned up to him. I don't, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes this game is just quirky. I'm manning him up, and clearly he's just going to the random receiver. Uh, but you guys see right here, he breaks out. That's going to usually win against man-to-man -man, uh, because of that cut. You can usually throw it right on this break, bam, right there. I like to lowball it up to you guys, but you guys can see that's the difference when they man it up as opposed to not manning it up, right? So, okay, now you guys are going to see the other play that I use for this formation. So I told you guys, next video we will be covering the runs, how deadly they can be, and the things, and I'll be going over the things that you can do to make the runs better, as well as what the opponent is going to have to do in order to stop them, and that's when you're going to take advantage of these great passing plays. So we showed you the crossing route, right? So this crossing route is awesome. It gets underneath any deep zone gets over top of any cloud flat right and now i'm going to show you guys the other play that you can use to take advantage of your opponent if they're trying a different kind of run defense against you so let's get into that now all right so now i'm going to show you guys the cover three beater out of this i'm calling cover three sky to three four i and the play we're going to be calling is sail y shake you guys see it at the bottom here very good play this corner route from Goodwin is very good, and then the post from Pettis is also going to be very good, right? So I'm not showing you guys like the actual setup here. It doesn't really matter what your setup is if you're going for this cover three beater. You just need the corner route and the post on there. So what you're going to be looking for though is very important. You want the deep blue to be on this safety side, right? So the middle deep blue. You want it to be on the left of, left of screen safeties on the same side as your two wide receivers. So you can t the way you can tell is that they don't base align this safety down here is on the right side, you know he's in the purple, and you know this linebacker is going to be in the purple, right? So if they don't baseline, it's very, very clear, right? And I'll show you guys what to do if they don't, if they do baseline, so you can't tell in the different reads you can make. But I'm just showing you guys here the concept. This is going to be cover three deep. I'd say about 80% of the time. It's not going to work 100% of the time for the deep, like the deep 100, like 100 yard touchdown pass. But there are other reads on the play if it does not work. But I will show you guys it multiple times and show you that it works pretty much every time. Now, it worked perfectly on this first play. And you guys see it. This post just gets naked deep. Now, if the, the reason why this works is if the deep blue is on the left of screen, on the same side as your receivers, they follow this corner out. Don't ask me why. I don't know. This concept is like it's it works out of other formations as well. So if you just watch him here, he goes straight for this corner out. I don't know why. They all follow it, and you get the post deep. Now, every once in a while, depending on like a certain type of bump, uh, whatever the case may be, the guy might not beat him deep, right? So I'll show it one more time here. And it will work against baseline. It's just if they're baseline, if they if they do get baseline, you can't tell where the safety is, so you just might not be able to beat him deep, right? So you guys see it here again. Perfect timing. Perfect. Uh, perfect. 
thing works out for you, you get a touchdown. Don't know why he does that. Now I'm gonna try to make it so it doesn't work. I'm gonna try to try to bump him in some sort of way uh, and just make it not work. But just if it doesn't, if I can't get it to not work, just take my word for it. About 15, 20 percent of the time. The guy won't follow. Okay, so it's working pretty much every time here. It will work against baseline. I'll show you guys that now. And I'm just messing around with different shadings from the linebacker just to show you guys it doesn't matter if you put the cloud, you put the purple, whatever the case may be. And right there, that's exactly what I wanted. So he got a certain bump right there. Guy didn't come open. And I'll show you guys that on the replay. Now the the linebacker crushed Goodwin at the at the snap here. Doesn't let him get on his corner route. So this this wasn't even really a corner route. It was like a baby out route, I guess, after he gets bumped. So when that happens, he goes to follow him, but he's so shallow that he doesn't follow him and he goes deep. So that's like the 15 to 20% of the time when it doesn't work, right? So we're going to baseline here again and try to make this thing work. And you guys see it once again, didn't work. So every once in a while, like I said, it doesn't work. I'm glad that it didn't work a couple times for you guys. I want you guys to be able to see it. Uh, but I want you guys to also know this is something that can be very deadly. And you can take advantage of your opponent with it. Right? So there we go. It works this time out of baseline. And you get a free touchdown. It works against baseline. It works against non-baseline. It works. The only key is if the safety is in the deep third on your side. Right? Now, here's the tell if, you're, if they're in baseline. Uh, how to, like... You can't really tell so if I go to baseline you can't really tell right because you can't tell which side the safety is that's going down because usually if, if the safety is in the cloud he'll be down here when you're baseline they still show that two safety front so that's just something to note now if I flip the play here you guys are gonna see it's not gonna work because the safety is too far away to be pulled by this corner route so you guys see nothing there now here's why this is a really good play regardless of what they do sorry about that guys i had to cut really quickly but now i'm just going to basically show you guys the different reads that you guys can make if the deep third if the, excuse me if the post route doesn't get open deep right so basically this corner route is very very good you have a flood concept with the swing route from the running back and the corner route and then you have what i like to do is curl the tight end i think that's the best spacing on the play and if it doesn't get open so Let's just uh, back this guy way up, imagining that he stays with the post or whatever. I don't want him to follow the corner route. I want him to guard the post, just so you guys can see if it doesn't work, that you still have other reads on this play. So this corner route is going to beat pretty much any linebacker out to the out to the flat, right? So you guys see there, I'm out. I'm able to pass lead it outside and get this catch. So let's go back to the replay here. Now, it's still rather annoying. I backed this guy so far up, but he still follows it. So obviously the read is the post. Uh, but if it's not there, you guys see this guy beats him out to the flat, and I'm able to make the play, right? Now, I'll show you guys with the cloud flat. I would still, a lot of the time, get over the cloud flat from him. So I'm putting the cloud flat out there. Hopefully the safety does not follow. And he did. So I gotta make I gotta make the touchdown read, guys. If the safety follows him, then the corner route's not gonna be nearly as open as it's supposed to be. So I'm just actually gonna um, just put this guy in a yellow or something and put him in the deep blue, just so I can get him to stop doing this. <laughs> but <laughs> it just it's just so good. It's just such a good cover three beater that it makes it really tough to throw other things when the other things are open. But you guys can kind of see, you can kind of get that over to the linebacker. It's a little dicey when they put the cloud. If it's a purple, I can pretty much throw it because uh, he gets like a little weird bump right there and he beats him to the sideline. If it's a cloud, a mm, little dicey, but I want you guys to see it's still kind of there. Now, if you don't want to throw it against the cloud flat, that's fine too. That's when you can throw the running back, right? So here's the setup. You throw this running back out there and hit him a little bit earlier than that. <laughs> but uh, it gets you out in space and lets you make a play. So let's do it one more time here. Put a cloud flat out there. And now obviously if they play a hard flat, you can just hit the corner out. But get Tevin Coleman out there in space. Go get your free couple yards and move on to the next play. You're not going to get a lot of yards on the running back route because uh, swing routes aren't that great. But if you wheel him, he goes to the other side. So you can't really wheel him. However, you can take these free couple yards, maybe a little bit of blocking, get some speed out there. And I went and got five or six right there. So really, I mean, it's not the worst rate in the world. You can just go to the next down. 
this play is really just for the cover three beater it's just i'm just showing you guys the other reads on the play so you have a flood concept from the corner flat uh and if they play hard flats i'll show you guys that you can easily fit in this corner out so they play hard flats here bam easy money now the curl route really is just to kind of hold the user in the middle of the field right so let's imagine that they're getting beat on this cover three beater and uh they're taking away the, the corner route so i'm manning up I'm manning up these two guys just to signify that the corner and the post aren't there. So I'm just getting them out the way. That's when you can kind of hit your curl route in the middle of the field, uh, do different things with that, and just kind of make plays with it. So you guys are seeing here, very good like potential. We had the crosser play earlier, which pretty much beat every single coverage. And you have this cover three beater. If they're in cover three sky trying to stop your run, whatever the case may be, they're going to struggle with it, right? So... The formation is great. You have so many good pat like so many good running plays, excuse me from it, that I'm gonna show you guys next video. But you have a couple really good passing plays that you can supplement it with that if they're going to try to like if they're gonna try to mess with you and like get like really adjusty on to try to stop your run, like maybe they're manning up your safeties, maybe they're just doing wild stuff, you can just start hitting with like a couple pass plays, get them out of that and move on to the next one. So like for example, this cover two like this this corner play, like this corner out play is not bad either against man, uh, especially if you have a good receiver there. But then you also have the tight end curl route against man. So like if they get bagged, you can throw this thing right in there and like just low ball that cur the curl route is going to be man every time. And if they do try to like man up their linebackers and stuff, it's linebackers because they're in run D and you're going to, you're going to see that they're going to struggle to, to stop it. And then it looks like, I mean, this guy's manned up over Goodwin, but it looks like whenever you send out like this running back, we saw earlier when you um, when they were manning up the fullback, it was switching. Watch, he switches here, and you get a linebacker on Goodwin. Like, good luck, good luck guarding a 98 speed receiver with a linebacker. Like, so I, it's going to be very tough to stop your pass plays. And when they have to account for the run, good luck. Like, I'm telling you guys, wait for the next video. The run plays are very, very good. Um, I hope you guys. I hope you guys are going to be ready for them. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you guys are going to implement this into your games. If you are on Hot Route Tips, the West Coast Playbook Gun Bunch Week, this is a great way to supplement it, especially when you get to that red zone, uh, twenty like twenty yards and in. But even like 30, 35 yards and in, you can go to this I form and give people trouble with it. But even if you aren't at Hot Route Tips and using Gun Bunch Week out of West Coast. Look in your playbook, see if you have iForm slot. It's in eight playbooks. I'll put that in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.